These are excerpts from an interview I granted in April 2014. Holocaust deniers are ignorant, or malicious, or both. Preponderance of historical evidence, not least from German sources, points at the occurrence of this tragedy. I believe that 6 million is actually an underestimate, taking into account the fact that in 1944 and 1945, Jewish deportees, for instance from Hungary, were conveyed directly to the gas chambers without any form of registration, accounting and monitoring. To the next myth. As far as European history goes, Hitler was not an aberration. On the very contrary, in line with 19th century geopolitical thinking, Hitler sought to establish a German colonial empire in East Europe since Africa and Asia were already claimed by other European powers. Hitler's only revolutionary contribution was the idea that certain white races, the Poles, the Jews, the Russians, could be considered on par with non-white natives, which were traditionally thought of as primitive and inherently inferior. Hitler was emphatically not out to establish the global empire. His Lebensraum extended to East Europe only. He was forced into war in Western and Southern Europe. He had no designs on Africa or Asia. He even offered the British a pact. They will let him found a German empire in Poland, Ukraine and Russia, and he will leave the British empire intact. The British declined the offer, committed as they were to the outdated concept of balance of powers in a contiguous continental Europe. The West committed a colossal error in supporting Stalin against Hitler. The West should have let these two rabid dogs annihilate each other. Hitler couldn't believe the West's inanity and irrationality in buttressing Bolshevism in Europe. Church's compulsive doggedness and commitment to 19th century ideals dragged a reluctant United States into a ruinous conflagration and ended up handing half of Europe to a bloodthirsty Stalin, dismantling the largely benign British Empire and pulverizing both Britain and Germany. Churchill engendered a Cold War that almost led to a nuclear apocalypse. Back to the Holocaust. There was no Nazi plan to exterminate the Jews. At first, the Nazis tried to legislate the Jews out of the ever-expanding Reich. When that failed, they conceived of a Jewish enclave in Lublin, Palestine, or Madagascar. But the Allies were dead set against any influx of Jews into their territories. The administrations of both Great Britain and the United States were anti-Semitic, and in the United States there was an aversion to getting involved yet again in European affairs. The American Jews, not wanting to be seen as warmongers, and ashamed of their destitute post-Juden brethren, the American Jews supported their government's neutral stance. When Germany invaded Russia, it became clear that the Reich is going to end up with more than 7 million Jews within its borders. This was unacceptable to its paranoid and virulently anti-Jewish leaders. And hence, the Van Zee Conference in 1941, and the final solution of the Jewish question, now known as the Holocaust. Fascism and even Nazism were global ideologies, not confined to Italy and Germany. In the middle of 1941, there were two dozen countries with Nazi governments in place, or with sizable and politically significant Nazi movements, from Iraq, Rashid Ali al-Khailani, Egypt, the green shirts of Misr and Fatah party, to Norway, Quisling, and from Bulgaria and Romania to Hungary. World War II was a clash of global ideologies, communism against fascism, against liberalism. Hitler regarded the Jews as the potent equals of the Aryans, the two races competing for world dominance. The Aryans were the fount of everything that's good and positive, according to Hitler. The Jews and the, and the Judeo-Christian tradition, the source of every manifestation of evil and decrepitude. Hence the need, according to Hitler, to cleanse Europe, Judenheim, and to restore Europe to Aryan stewardship. In his political will, dictated to his secretary, Martin Bormann, a day before he committed suicide, Hitler concedes defeat 
in the fight against the Jews, but exhorts the Aryan Germans to continue their struggle against the Jews and Bolshevism. The Nazis were eclectic. They borrowed concentration camps and scientific racism from the British, extermination camps from the Russians, eugenics from the United States and Scandinavia, mass propaganda from the, United, from the USSR and Italy. They merely applied legendary German determination, efficiency and industriousness to these assimilated institutions and ideas. The Zionist movement, on the other hand, regarded the rise of Nazism as a great opportunity. The Nazis would drive the Jews out of Europe and into the waiting arms of the, of the Zionists in their new homeland in Palestine, went the belief. The Zionists collaborated with the Nazis for the better part of a decade in transporting Jews and their money across borders and over the seas from Germany and Austria to Palestine. Hitler finally most definitely committed suicide in the bunker. To the several testimonies that, to that effect, we can now add incontrovertible evidence, such as dental records, from the recently opened archives in the USSR. Suicide is also more congruent with Hitler's character as a notoriously narcissistic drama queen. Was Hitler part Jew? As the myth goes, Hitler's grandmother worked for a Jewish family, the Frankenbergs, in Graz, Austria. She got herself pregnant, and she left in a hurry. The rumor was that her paramour was the family's Jewish 19-year-old scion. She gave birth to Hitler's father, Alois, out of wedlock. Well, into Alois's teens, his mother cashed checks that she had received from the Frankenberg family. Hitler asked his lawyer, Hans Frank, to look into the matter, but the report that Frank submitted few months later, was never found. There was persistent gossip that Hitler was being blackmailed by his cousin, but this cannot be proven or traced back to Hitler's alleged Jewish ancestry. More about all this in my book, The Hitler File, excerpts of which you can find online in a variety of venues.